Programmers have both global variables and user flags at their disposal. 64-bit global user variables are P0 to P4095 and actually are dimensioned as part of the configuration wizard on the memory screen. The default is 4096 parameters. Use them to pass local variables between programs or CTC panels or other Ethernet IP devices. There are also eight groups of 32-bit user flags, starting at bit 128 going up to 255 and then also bit 1920 to 2047. Here's a sample program with two global variables P1 and P2 set with the initial values. Bit 128 is being set before extending and clearing before retracting. Math operations are also shown, no parentheses are needed. For local variables, users can dimension using the dim command, typically near the top of the program. LV is a long, which is a 32-bit integer. Dim LV parenthesis 10 would dimension 10 longs. There are also singles, which are 32-bit floating point numbers, and doubles, which are 64-bit floating points. Strings can include 8-bit characters. Dim, dollar sign, V, parenthesis 5, comma 20, with dimension 5 string variables of 20 characters long. Strings can also contain any ASCII characters, including control characters, characters you cannot see. Arrays are also available, with the count being the number of array elements, and N the number after the array type being the number of arrays. Dim statements can be in the program or after the program. Clear erases local variable dimensioning. For local variables in Flash-based products, local variable values are forgotten on power down and are reset on power up. For battery-backed RAM products, use clear before program so that the local variables are freed for redimensioning on download. Using the dim inside the program, as long as it's not changed in value, will not reinitialize the local variables. Here on the right, LV0 is a count variable that increments with every completion of the square. Pause the video and try adding this to your program. Obviously, with all your inputs and outputs, system parameters, and user variables, it can be hard to keep track of what's what. And the ACR makes it easier, allowing programmers to name these with aliases. You can use pound define to name flags, parameters, variables, and array elements. The number of defines is allocated in the memory page of the configuration wizard, and the default number is 20. Aliases are global in nature, even though they may be pointing to something that is local in nature. For example, if you name a local variable LV0 with an alias count, every program that also has LV0 variable will show that the alias count when you do list in the terminal window instead of LV0, even though it may be used for something else. Also note, don't confuse this with the access name. The access name is incorrectly referred to as an alias in ACR view. Obviously, it's only recognized in its own master program and not other programs, so it's an access name not the same as a user alias. Certain words are reserved, such as access, count, print, and other commands. If you type help in the terminal window, it lists the reserved words. Pound define is placed outside of the program. In ACR view in the program editor, above prog0, there is the define section, allowing one central location for all aliases. You can also put them before the program command in the program editor. Here's an example with bit 516 with an alias of moving. This would indicate any time master zero is commanding interpolated motion. In the program, you can then use INH moving to wait instead of INH 516, though you can still use INH 516. INH minus moving would wait until the bit is clear. Aliases are case sensitive. They can be a maximum of 24 characters long, but cannot include numbers or any special characters such as underscore or the at sign. Aliases can be constants, but they can only be a positive integer, such as 10. Invalid examples are 3.14159 and minus 1. Instead, use a variable and assign the variable as the value. Pound define pi as p0 and then assign p0 as 3.14159. If you want to reassign a flag or parameter in alias name, because these are reserved in non-volatile memory, do a flash res to unassign all aliases before re-downloading.